Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivals channel. In this occasion I wanted to show you the Trangia mini stove or burner. This is the packaging which it comes with. Just a simple bag and you know some descriptions. It just says that it's made in made in Sweden. It's very small if we compare it to a quarter or one euro coin just look at the size of it. it fits to most bags and most satchels you may have with you so it's very nice in in size wise it's very small and compact so if you have to minimize the amount of weight and volume you're carrying this is a good alternative it's also very simple and very rugged as well so these are all traits that we look forward to when considering our survival and preparedness gear so let's get right to it and see what's all this about. I already filled this mini Trangia with some fuel. It uses ordinary alcohol, which it's great because either way you're usually going to be finding some alcohol in most stores. If there's an emergency and in a first aid kit, there's usually alcohol. So this is very prolific all around the world in most in most cases. So one way or another, you're usually going to be finding some alcohol with you. Uh, stoves that use more specific fuel those may, may not be as ideal as uh, something like this because no matter where you are chances are you're gonna be finding a way of getting a bottle of alcohol so it's a good idea to have a stove that use that we have one lid right this one is for regulating the amount of flame or to putting it off and then it has another one that screws on top of it as I mentioned before there is fuel inside there's already some alcohol in it you can see it clearly here and it has this o-ring and what this does is it covers all these jets these little holes so you can keep it if uh, full with alcohol but as long as you screw this one on top it's just keeping it there and it's not going anywhere so you can have it f uh, fueled already without risk of spilling it if you're gonna be doing lots of traveling and such you may want to keep it empty but just good to know that you can just put the flames off and wait until it cools down and screw back this lid with the o-ring and keep the fuel you already have you have to empty it. Let's light it up and see how it works. There it goes. So it's ordinary alcohol. What happens is that once the stove, the burner heats up, what happens is that alcohol starts evaporating and coming through the jets you see on the sides all those little holes once it it heats enough you start seeing uh, you see it how it just popped like that and you have you hear it you have those jets where the evaporated alcohol is coming from once that happens it starts burning on those sides and you have like a nice a nice uh, uh, burner going on here what you can do is you can use the um, the lid right so that's to regulate the amount of flame you have if you want less of a flame you can just put it on there if you want to turn it off you just use it completely but it's not very precise but you do regulate some of it the amount of flame you have if you want to be saving more fuel if you want to do something that doesn't require so much heat it does heat up surprisingly fast usually you don't you don't think that alcohol heats this much but it, it does a pretty good job in, com in comparison to other stoves it's this Trangia mini stove is pretty effective so I mean it's a great way of having alternatives alternative ways of cooking food during emergencies during survival situations 
for, for a, a small survival kit, this is pretty neat. And even when used at home, if there's no natural compressed gas, if there's if there's no no natural gas, if there's no power and you need ways of cooking your food, you can just use something like this very effectively. You put it off and once it cools down, you just put the lid back on and the o-ring keeps the fuel on its place. So guys, basically that's it. I wanted to show you the Tranja mini stove which has been mentioned in some of my blog posts before and I wanted you guys to take a look and see how it works. So that's gonna be it for now guys. Remember to check the blog at demonosurvivalist.com and join the forum as well where you can talk with some of the guys and see you in our next video. Take care.